coming to India um, so far is, is proven to be probably one of the, the best decisions I've made. And I know that a lot of people will tell me that um, being in Goa is, uh, is not like being in the real India per se. Um, but the type of tourism that's here is a lot of just an abundance of like-minded individuals. So it's not really like the tourist industry that you would see in like you'd see in like Orlando, like where I'm at, you know, uh, or, or where I lived before here. Um, it, it's different. It, it is a it is a mass congregation of people that are searching for um, a, a type of connection. Rather, I wouldn't necessarily say it's enlightenment per se, because I don't know if everybody's here for that. But the connection that people are coming here for, the connection that people are seeking, is just it's it's so apparent. You know, it's it's apparent in 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 the uh, in the incredible amount of different techniques that you'll see in people using to try to get a little bit closer to um, a harmony, you know, a, 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 like a, a cosmic harmony, if you will, like a, just a higher power. And I imagine that it's like that in a lot of places that you go in India. I'm, I'm reluctant to use that term, um, finding yourself, in, in a way, because it's like, I like, you know, somebody told me once, no matter where you run in this world, you're just going to keep on running into yourself. So finding yourself is interesting, because it's always there. You're always, you're always there. You're always found. You're never really that lost. But learning how to exist within, hey, that's really the key. Back in the States, you know, I, I noticed that I had ceased to move forward at all. Um, even if I felt like I was going forward, it was definitely one step forward, two steps back. I, I was definitely, it was a slippery slope and I was going downhill. And I had been doing that for a while. think that you're taking positive steps in some way, oh, I hit the gym today, I feel good. But, then, uh, you know, mentally and spiritually, you're going to come right back around to the beginning. So it's going to be like an unhappiness type void that you're going to constantly be supplementing with something. And we use things like maybe like the gym or like try to get like our physical aesthetics nice, maybe buy some things and um, to try to like alleviate some of that stress. And we keep having these like circular arguments. So there was no positive growth in my life whatsoever, no positive growth stimulated whatsoever, and I was ceasing to become a better person. Here it's like the, mo the forward momentum is apparent. You do start to see what that path could be like to, to really expand and grow. And I think that was really my goal from the beginning is to really tap into that and to really understand that not just as an athlete, but as a person. Um, in the future, you know, I would like to go back to being an athlete. Um, that's uncovered territory at this at this point, you know, so that's left to be discovered. That, that's kind of why my way of thinking when I felt like things in, um, back home were one step forward in any, any direction, but then two steps back, kind of leading you back to the beginning. Very circular argument. <laughs> 